you want, bro? Is this yellow bananas? Is this what you want, bro? Is this what you want? Me lying in my bedroom next to Johnny Gargano and have a giant orgy every night? Is this what you want? Is that it, bro? I don't believe this, bro. Here I am in my mom's kitchen. All I want is a fucking cold Guinness. Let me check in the refrigerator. Hey, mom! I need a cold Guinness! Where is it? What kind of pussy-ass beer is this, bro? I just want my Guinness! Oh well, I might as well drink this, cause I know you fucking goons wanna see me right here on off the script. <laughs> what is going on, you fucking clowns? JD from New York here, and this is the number one most persistent, dedicated, most excessive clickbaiting channel right here on YouTube. This is off the script. Welcome to your daily one to two hour long raw review, bro, with 20 advertisements so that I can have a huge excuse to lick YouTube's butthole because, you know, I ain't making the paychecks just sitting in my mom's basement with my cats down here, bro. Okay, before we get to the review, uh, let me plug my new bro book, bro. Uh, here it is, bro. You can go to your local Barnes and Nobles and buy The Legend of Zelda, uh, Ocarina of Time, bro. It's about $10. Please go down to my Patreon because I need the money, bro. I can't stand working at some random-ass jewelry, jewelry store down in New York, bro. I don't want to work at Wendy's or McDonald's or Burger King because I don't want to end up like that fucking degenerate Sean's View Entertainment. He wants to bury me, bro. Bro, I bury myself. I clickbait just as much as Sean's View. I look exactly like him. I talk exactly like him. I am the DSP of the YWC, bro, because I fail at video games. Oh my god, I rage quit, bro. And I know all you goons out there want to see me play more Call of Duty. Oh, JT! Where's Call of Duty, man? I wanna see you play Resident Evil, bro! Well, you know, my raw reviews make a shitload of money, and you know, you I lick YouTube's butthole, as you already know, so I can't play video games anymore, bro. I gotta do hour to two hour long raw reviews, and I gotta keep plugging in my shit, bro. Oh, and on top of that, go ahead and buy the new Mickey Mouse folder at the Disney store, bro. Man, I can't wait for YouTube to give me my $100 paycheck every week, bro. Okay, now then, let's get to the actual raw review, bro, bro. Bro, bro, I don't know how Vince Russo does it, man. Me and him, we both come from the same Italian mafia family in New York, bro. Man, I wish I had my Guinness right now. Oh, I'm sorry. You you all want me to do the raw review. Okay, now then, let's get to the raw review. Uh, we see... We see Buddy Murphy using the wild card rule, bro. Did I mention how stupid it is? How that fucking old fart Vince McMahon? Oh my god, we're get rid of this fucker! I want my, my god, my hero, Triple H, so that my boyfriend, Johnny Gargano, can get called up on the main roster, bro. So then Buddy Murphy walks down there, and then he says, Hello! I'm happy to be here. I wrestled all over the world, and I ska danced more than Sami Zayn, bro. <laughs> and then, Buddy Murphy cuts this awesome promo, and then he speaks to Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns! I mean, fuck me, bro. Why does that Fucking Roman Reigns superhero bitch have to come out and ruin everything, bro. I am so glad Johnny Gargano is still in NXT because that fucker Vince McMahon, he's gonna bury Johnny and all my NXT indie vanilla midget darlings. And if you all want to know how much I love Johnny Gargano, then check this picture out, bro. Oh, Johnny Gargano is such a fantastic wrestler. Man, Johnny Gargano.
Johnny Gargano's got great abs, 365 days a year. Okay, bro, uh, we're running out of time here. The neighbors downstairs are screaming and yelling at me because I raise my blood pressure in these videos, bro. If I don't yell and scream like this, bro, I won't get my point across, bro. Please save me, Triple H! You know the fucking smarts, you know, they jerk off to this motherfucker like he's a god or something. <laughs> Before I go, bro, let me tell you, my favorite women wrestlers of all time are Tony Storm and the women's champion of NXT, Shania Baszler, bro. You know, fuck Charlotte Flair, fuck Alexa Bliss, fuck Lacey Evans. I can't stand those big-breasted blondes, bro, because they remind me of those same big-breasted blonde cheerleaders in high school that flat-out rejected my ass, bro. Fucking clowns. I don't need those fucking degenerates, bro. I love the fucking vanilla midget Tony Storm. I love the ugly ass tattooed Baszler. You know, I just find unattractive women appealing, bro. You know, I don't want the big breasted blondes, bro. That's why I love Sasha Banks and Bailey, bro. I would love to get into a fucking strip club with them, along with Johnny Gargano and Adam Cole, bro. Man, you know, Dave Mel Sir, thank you, bro, for giving that match a takeover Toronto fucking six stars, bro. You know, fuck Okada and Omega, bro. I don't watch New Japan. I don't review Impact on here, bro. Even though Impact is taped, NXT is taped, but it's like the fucking number one wrestling show. I bow down to the almighty cock of Triple H, bro. I can't wait for October. NXT is gonna beat AEW. I know I support AEW, but... Secretly, I want NXT to win, bro, hoping that all the semen in Triple H is in my beer, bro. I just love drinking that shit. Oh, yeah! And let me end this long-ass podcast, and I'm sure you people are asleep right now. I upload these videos at, like, midnight and 1 o'clock in the morning, bro. I know you guys are asleep, and I know uh, my review is probably making you fall asleep because it's so fucking boring, other than my screaming and ranting. Oh, man, I hope my blood pressure goes down. I can't afford to have a heart attack, bro. You know, what will my boyfriends, Brian Zane, Simon Miller, Solomon Monster, all my YWC butt buddies, what are they gonna say when I'm gone, bro? They need me, bro. I'm the king of the YWC. I'm the AEW chief information officer, bro. All the fucking trolls. I enjoy making them salty, bro. Oh, look at JT, bro. How can you say that, bro? Well, fuck you. I am the ultimate smark. You know, wrestling otaku, that fat slob calls himself the ultimate protagonist. Well, I'm JD from New York. I'm the ultimate antagonist. <laughs> Now, before I go, let me show you my personal love for Matt Riddle and Finn Balor and all my NXT boyfriends, bro. So I'll see you all next time. Tune in for House of Glory, bro, where I work for the suits and ties of House of Glory, even though I said that that loser Joe Cronin can't afford his car payments, bro. But, you know... I don't work for suits and ties, bro, but I have to wear a suit and tie for House of Glory because I can't go out like this, bro. I don't even know why I'm wearing this stupid hat, bro. I mean, look at me, man. Look at me. I have the most beautiful, gorgeous hair in the YWC, bro. I, I don't need this. Well, actually, I do because it makes me look cool and edgy and badass. Let me wear it backwards. Oh, it's JTM hair under his hat, man. Well, yes, I do. Now then, let me present to you my obsessed love for Finn Balor, Matt Riddle. Please like and subscribe! Is he not wearing any shoes? He doesn't look tough. He doesn't look intimidating. He doesn't even look like he can kick a man's ass. Oh, but Green, he's a former UFC guy. I don't give a fuck. I know all you smarks out there jerk off to him. <laughs> you probably do that because he's almost completely naked. Now look at this jabroni piece of shit. Wow, so threatening. He looks like he wants to pull down my pants and fuck my ass. Ooh, he's the best thing in the world. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Number four. Thin leaf bar. Suck on my nipples, please. Flipping kicky. Number five. Babbler, oh, you just made me come my pants. Oh, you feel so good, man. Number six. Stick that dick up my ass, because I'm a smart. Number seven. He has some star power. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, my God, I'm in a big orgasm. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God.
become world champion. Number eight. Ooh, look at me, I'm a demon. Ooh, la, la, la. Finn Balor. Number nine. He's like the next god or something, like the next Stone Cold Hoa. 